Hey everyone and welcome back to Cram Farms. We are getting ready to move lambs and we have some, um, we're gonna move the cow. We've been bringing them both up here to the yard and let them come around and cut the grass. And um, by doing that, we're not really using a lawnmower or using any fuel um, to get our grass cut. So this side yard is perfect because in the evenings like this, in the afternoons, it has lots of good shade. So they have a shady spot. Um, and this grass has gotten pretty thick over here. So they will come over here, we'll do the sheep, the cow will come, and then the chickens will come by also. So let's get everybody moving. Hey little man, this is just your temporary spot while we move your fence. And then you'll be over here eating some nice fresh grass. And it's really important that you move your sheep um, frequently to help with parasites. It's important that we use pasture rotation to rotate our animals because we're not giving them chemical warmers that would um, worm them. So by rotating pastures and using herbs and things and their feeds, we also use um, DE, diatomaceous earth, that is um, natural in fighting parasites for our animals here on the farm. Buckets. <laughs> that didn't take long at all to move their little area. Now we will get them moved back in. You can see they're actually eating the grass over here while they wait. So, hey boys, you ready to go on your new fence? And then we just use a bungee cord to help hold that cattle panel to um, the T-post. These carabinas on the ends to hold the two cattle panels together. Um, we gotta straighten this one up. But it keeps it pretty tight here. Can't go any further apart than that. Their feeder, we just have zip tied over there under the tarp. That way it is um, undercover. They've got some shade. Plus they've got the shade of the area here. We've got their water bucket and they like grass so we'll keep moving them through this area we have an entire side yard we can move them through and then they have pasture down there where we will be moving them through also so they will be enjoying grass for the next several months to come Mm-hmm, they like that grass. Peppermint's coming out more than Piper. I like him. You do? Mm-hmm. Good. He's really soft. Mm. Hello. <laughs> he just licked Kiss it. The camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. They're like, where am I? There they go, happy eating grass. <laughs> we'll get in there. So here is one thing that I am most excited about and that is planting. And today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of companion planting with cucumbers, with squash, um, some zucchini, and I'm gonna tell you what companion plants I am putting with them. So one of the first things I do is draw out my beds. Um, I like to keep everything written down so that I know what I plant. Um, and where so I just bring out a clipboard with me and I will draw like this is bed whoop, You can see right there bed six and I, I kind of already have an idea as to what um, I'm gonna be planting in that bed, but I go and just kind of as I plant write it down and then when I go inside I have a um, Master list that I keep everything written down on out here so I can change and doodle and kind of 
um, make some changes as I go if I need to, and then inside I'll put it down um, on my master list <laughs> so that I know exactly what I am planting. So I am going to work on three beds today. Um, and one in the and let's go ahead and get started. And one in the front. All right, so we're going to be using some cattle panels for the trellises for our um, cucumbers. So a cattle panel is 50 inches long. So I want to mark where that is right now. We're going to put our T post in. And so the trellis will go from this bed to this bed. I'll have Armenian cucumbers on this side and Boston pickling cucumbers on this side. And um, it worked really well last year when I use that for my cucumbers and I put some beans on it also. So we're gonna get the T-post in and get ready to get those cucumbers planted. So if your cattle panel is 50 inches wide, I come in about a foot on each side and put my T-post in. And I just lay, um, Take measure down when I'm doing that. We have got to pick up more cattle panels. Um, ah. So I'm gonna go in and get things planted. Ah. And then put my cattle panels up, which I usually don't do, but I still think it's gonna be okay. Um, for this. Mm -hmm. That's a really short one. All right, now I'm gonna start putting um, I'm only going to do two cucumbers because they vine out so much and I want them going up and I want them to have space. I also don't want them to get wet, um, so wet and get um, anything fungal going on. So this will give enough airflow flowing through them. So we are going to plant um, Boston pickling cucumbers here and two Armenian cucumbers on this side. So we're going to go right ahead and get our first hole dug. Now this is where we are going to plant um, our Armenian cucumber. Now this dirt is nice and if there's a rock in there make sure you get it out. This is dirt is nice and black and we have used, um, you can still see a little bit of rabbit manure um, from our rabbits, which rabbit manure is not hot. So you can go on and put that directly in your beds and plant. So we're gonna put um, a cucumber here. Look at the roots on these. So these are um, ones that I started in my greenhouse and started them in the um, seed starter seed blocks soil blocks and so we're just going to plant this right in the dirt all right let's get the other one done now that we have the two cucumbers in, I'm going to do some companion planting and I'm going to put in some beans and I'm just going to put um, probably two, one or two here and on the other side also. Um, these are Chinese red noodle beans and the kids loved these last year. They get really long. They're fun to see them growing overhead when we put them on the trellis and we like to eat them when they're really um, still kind of slender. Um, they're more tender then. They're great chopped up and sauteed. Um, when they get really long and they start getting big, they get tougher. So we try to eat these um, when they're slender, but they're still long. They'll get up to 18 inches um, in no time. And you have to watch them because one day they'll be like this and the next day it's like they grow a foot a day. So um, Chinese red noodle beans is one we're going to plant here with our cucumbers. Now I also already have radishes planted here and I'm going to put a few more in because Radishes are a great companion plant. It keeps away the cucumber beetle. It also keeps away squash bugs. And because this bed is gonna have cucumbers and squash in it, um, we're gonna plant some radishes to help with that. And I've got a few other tips and some plants we're gonna put in this bed as well. So when this bed is done, it's gonna have a ton of different plants in it and everything's gonna work together to give us a really great harvest. All right, so I got those two beans in. Now radishes grow really quickly. So even though I have radishes around that are getting ready to come up, I wanna go on and throw a few more in because these are gonna be ready to be pulled and radishes grow really quickly. So these will be hanging around 
to help with the cucumber beetle. All right, so cucumbers, red Chinese noodle beans, and now radishes. So let's move on to the squash. All right, this is one of my nasturtiums that I started in the greenhouse, and I have never had great luck with them in the past. You can see this pack of four, I only got one to germinate. But I'm gonna go in and plant this one in the dirt, in the um, dirt near the cucumbers, and then I'm also gonna plant a few more nasturtiums by seed in the dirt as well. Nasturtiums are great in salads. This is a radish, and that will be coming up soon. So I'm just gonna stick this nasturtium right here. It's close enough by the cucumbers. Um, and I'm gonna throw a few more in the dirt by seed. Oh, you can't really see that, huh? <clears throat> now these, um, when they flower, the flowers have a, almost a little bit of a spicy um, taste, but they're great in a salad. So we can use those for that and they'll be fighting off some pest in our garden. So sure these are great together. Too. Now we're gonna just put a few extra um, nasturtium seeds around here. So maybe we'll have a few more nasturtiums coming up. Now you only want, only want to plant um, your seeds about the same depth as they are big. So when you put these in the dirt, you're not gonna put them very far down. All right, so this next guy I'm putting in is a lemon squash. And if you've never seen lemon squash before, um, they are size like a little lemon. They're yellow like a little lemon. Um, and we, could, we did some in the fall and they were excellent. So we're gonna, we started these in the greenhouse and we're gonna go ahead and get these planted now. And when you're putting your plants in, you wanna think about um, spacing as to when the plant grows. Like right now your bed's gonna look empty, but when this plant grows, you have to think about it spreading out, you know, two feet or so. So from here, so we can spread this way, it's gonna spread this way, this way, this way. So you want to leave plenty of room around it, which is why I'm kind of moving it away from the edge of the bed. Um, and then planting it in here. And that is going to be a lemon squash plant. So I'm going to put another lemon squash at the other end of the bed also. And then down there around that lemon squash that I just planted, I'm gonna put a few more radishes in. All right, now last year I had some huge zucchini plants. So these zucchini plants, I'm gonna make sure they have plenty of room when I put them in. Um, I'm gonna put two in this bed. There'll be one over on that side and one down at the end. And again, I'm coming inside the bed um, some from this direction. Oh look, good little worms. Worms are so good for your garden. So when you see them in there, leave them in there. They work on your soil so well. So I'm going to just um, come in from my bed. And again, these are radishes that are already in the ground. I'm just gonna leave them. They're not gonna bother the zucchini plant at all. Throw this dirt back around. Now squash and zucchini are really heavy feeders of nitrogen. So to help with that, we're gonna be planting some bush beans around the edge to put more nitrogen in the soil so that the squash and the zucchini will have plenty of that while they are growing. And then through the middle here of the bed, I'm gonna plant some um, Cracker Jack mix marigolds. Marigolds are excellent for pest control um, and putting them right in the middle of the bed, they'll work with the plants all around. So I ended up running out of time and only got two beds done tonight, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you the other bed and we've got some work to do in the front. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss those videos. Don't forget to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button on your way out, and thanks for joining us today on Cram Farms. We'll see y'all next time.